Okay, here's the uh, the Exotac fire rod and the packaging. Uh, the Exotac makes some really nice packaging. I mean, it doesn't really matter, but it just shows you know a little pride in your product. And I've got uh, Jessica out here because this is where I'm going to put this uh, particular uh, fire rod. I'm going to take off this uh, piece of crap that I've fire steel that I've had on there for a while. And just as a side note, uh, I'm also going to make some other changes to this. I'll show later. I'm taking the BK-14 off. And I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet. I might put it back in the old sheath and just put this aside. Or I might add a tech lock to it and stick it somewhere. Don't know. But I am going to get an SE uh, accessory pouch and uh, mount that on this sheath. Because I did have, when I had the sheath maker... Uh, Godspeed Tactical make this for me. I did ask that he space these rivets so I could put SE accessories on it when I wanted to. But anyway, that's just a side note. Getting back to this, let's take a look here what we got inside. So we've got an extra O ring for the capsule, got uh, some cordage for it, and I guess these are probably instructions or something if you're a complete moron you don't know how to use a fire steel then they'll tell you how to do it so yep so I thought and you can't what, what is nice about these is they sell replacements for it so when you wear these down you can actually get a new uh, rod for this now here is the anodized aluminum capsule now what's interesting about this and I'm not sure why but Ta-da! It says Habilis Bush Tools on it, which is awesome considering I don't own a Habilis Bush Tool. So, I mean, I don't care. You know, big deal. It's a fire steel, but I'm not sure why that's on there or how that came to be. But here's the capsule. It's not a whole lot of room, but you can get, you know, one tinder quick in there pretty much. So you can have at least one good fire as a backup with this fire steel. So all in all, now the only thing is with this, it's it's a little bit pricey for a fire steel. It's about you know 25, 27 bucks for this thing. And I think you know the other ones that are similar to this, like the SE one, it's not the exact same, but these ones that have capsules on it, stuff like that, they're not cheap. Uh, the sanitized aluminum brings up the cost a little bit but I wanted a, a good big fire steel uh, for this uh, rig right here and this is I like Exotac I think their fire steels are excellent I'm not gonna test this because I've already tested the nano striker I've already tested the poly striker you know this isn't gonna be any different except maybe some bigger sparks because it's a bigger rod but we know that they make good fire steels so don't have to worry about that so there you go that is the the uh, Exotac fire rod fire starter. Uh, I know this isn't a, a very exciting whiz bang you know video, but it is a new item, so I figured I would show it. So thanks for watching. I'm Christian Prepared Mind 101. I appreciate your views. Appreciate you uh, subscribing to the channel and check me out at Facebook at facebook.com forward slash prepared mind 101. And I'll be back with some more videos here soon. Thanks guys. Yeah, one quick addendum. I just figured I just switched it out, so I just figured I'd show you how this thing looks mounted on a knife sheath. It's not it's not long enough for the you know the loop the hole that I've got, but with the uh, shock cord, it doesn't really matter. It stays in there nice and tight, so looks good. You know, this is my favorite kit, so I gotta have something nice on there. That's it. Just wanted to show it to you. Thanks, guys.